Alright, so you've been uh, making coffee for months and months and it's been turning out really fine. You're getting good foamy batches, good volume. And, uh, and then one day it starts misbehaving. And then maybe a few days later it does the same thing. It's, uh, it starts acting up. It starts acting like it did at the beginning. Spitting, low volume, maybe not even making any coffee at all. And you're like, okay, nothing's changed. What's going on? Well, time to check out the gasket. This one right here is end of life. And I'm going to swap it out. You can see there's a deep, a deep indentation running there. And this is kind of hanging over the metal filter. That's, uh, that's definitely end of life. All right, so you pull this sucker out like that and uh, compare it to uh, a new one you can just see you know it's got this big indentation and it's a whole lot bigger so uh, you just pop that sucker right back in right back in place And you just make your next batch of coffee. It's going to be snug the first time you put it back together. And it'll actually, uh, it's like a brand new one again. Uh, it'll start to be difficult, not because the gasket's too old, but because it's too new. And you have to break it in. It's got to seed or get three or four batches through it before it starts behaving properly. Um, uh, but then you're, you're, uh, you're golden. So uh, that's the story of the gasket. They... Uh, they come in all sizes and for different coffee makers, you know, they're about that wide. Uh, pretty standard stuff. You can get them in sets and keep them around. So that's uh, that's word about gasket. We're working on chicken wings here tonight. We've got these all toasty brown. we got the pepper sauce. They're ready to go. We're going to make a batch of 2012 and 2013 and see, uh, see who's kicking ass. I'll send you a report on that. Alright, enjoy the coffee.